Alright. I... I don't know how this is gonna go. Um... You know, I don't know how long we've got before before my computer kicks it and uh, everything starts chugging to hell and back. But let's give it a shot, shall we? Welcome back to Inroll. For those of you who didn't see it or who uh, were here for it, but it was being a buggy mess so you didn't get to see it anyway. Um, let me tell you what happened last time. What happened last time is that we fought the boss of this um, this area this area that we were in, the dungeon we were in. That was cool. And then, um, we wandered around town and there was this weird shadow guy. And so I went up to talk to shadow guy and apparently they are just like some incredibly OP monster and like I couldn't attack them at all and they did 999 damage to, like 9999 damage to me and I died immediately. Um, the enemy was called a nightmare for the record. So that's, that happened, and I didn't save, so we're gonna have to fight that battle again. So I hope you're in the mood for, uh, for fire and sad moms, because, boy howdy, we got, we've got both of those, plenty of those, whoa. Wait, I need this, I want to heal. What are you doing down here? Get out of here. Go sit up there. Hey, Lana! Why doesn't my- my- what is- what does P even stand for? Is P like experience? Because it didn't heal. Maybe it is experience. Alright. We do have that skill where we can, you know, that book to learn the, uh, healing skill. Points! The church burns, the flowers burn, even their bodies burn, and you flee into the night of a new moon. Yes, those children burned as easily as flower petals. I despise you, boy. These are the flames of anger, full of my sadness and hatred, and prayers for the children. Da -da -da -da! This woman, I think I... I... I don't want to fight! I don't want to fight her! Cody, don't think about it! For the people of this town, in God's name, I shall purge you! Set it on- wait, no, don't set it on fire. Set it on ice. Whoa! Ben has a rosary too! Don't you rosary at me! Here, let me turn these jams. These are sweet jams, and I don't know if you guys have to really experience them. We'll have to check out the sound box later, but there's- this game has some nice tunes. Nice, good tunes. Enjoy. How's everybody doing? Cody, why are you so- why are you already so, like... Dying.
Well, I was meaning how is everybody doing in terms of my in terms of the party, in terms of not being dead because I don't after we after after I got wiped by nightmare last time I went and tried to fight this boss again and just got destroyed. So if I can avoid that, that'd be super duper. The mysterious scream in your song. The matchbox is giggling. Don't giggle at me. I buried you who were burnt up. Alone. I played to God. I played. I played to God. I prayed to God. I made graves. Do you understand how I felt then? Dogma. Cody. If I, if I could have taken your place, how happy I'd. It was not they who should have been burned at the stake. It is you, boy, it is you. The tree bearing one was sitting on went up in flames. No, that didn't work last time, so I'll, I'll just skip it, but... Now they're both unsure. Ah, hell. Alright, alright, alright. Stop! Yeah. Also, also with noting, it's like I don't know if you, if if my note about it got through to you guys last time, but uh, she's taking on this form of. I mean, she's looking more like the uh, the Miss Hysteric. Um, Miss was it Miss Hysteric? That one, one of the enemies we found in the area, where they were just, you know, like a sprawling mass of vines with a lady-like form. Just turning more, turning more, uh, tree creature on us. Or at least that's the that's the distinct impression I get looking at it. Russell, don't die. There was a small church at the edge of town. It was a pretty church with pure white walls and lively vines wrapped around it. I often went there to pray. I always saw the slightly stuffy priest and his apparent little sister chatting. Cody! I couldn't heal you in time! Cody, why couldn't you appeal to Boston instead? Okay, Sophie, Sophie, I hear you.
Ah, hell. Tabasa! I couldn't get to him in time. All right, we'll be right back. For the record, I am broadcasting um, through the desktop one as opposed to I mean, the, the browser one as opposed to the uh, desktop one. Come on, Tabasa, you're our only closer here. You, you're the only one with elemental attacks. We need you here, buddy. Come on. Let's just eat, let's just all eat a delicious turnip, turnip salad together. That's what we'll do. Mmm, delicious! Well, actually, I think this is only Cody and Dogma's mom. Um, presume, or at least I'm assuming it's their mom, but there's not like it's been really clarified at all. Come on, kids. I can get one more ice bullet off. Come on. Yes! Those people wore crosses around their necks. Did those people despise anyone? Would they be forgiven no matter what they did? If repenting can forgive anything, then... Late at night, I went to the church, poured a lot of gasoline around it, quietly set fire to it, and went home. No one saw. The cover of night protected me. What the hell, Russell? We speculated that, you know, this was uh, some sort of jealousy, like, why can they be forgiven and not me? But I, I don't know, I'm sure we'll find out more about it after we get through this and don't get destroyed. Um... In a weak spot! Cut 16 wallets and a rosary. Cody to level 7. Plant surprise learned. Heh. <laughs> There's something funny about her learning the plant surprise after this fight. I mean, I know she's just going to learn it regardless at level 7, but it's funny. Did we beat her? It seems that way. Who would have thought that such a thing slumbered in Dead Tree Hill? This is bad for the heart. <laughs> but things are safe for now. Let's tell the people in town. Medium damage plus falter to one enemy. Type 2 only. I'm gonna save now? A destroyed sculpture. I was stunned to come back and from the Incarna Market and find a town full of plants. To be honest, I laughed a little, but, well, not that I can't sleep, yes? Will you rest as well? 
I'll let you stay for free. Yeah, get my snooze on. All right, one sec. I'm gonna go let the dog back in. I hear you. I hear you. I did talk to these NPCs during the recording, but I'll do it again so that maybe you guys can see them all. Well, I actually intentionally walked right up to Nightmare. I don't know if Nightmare actually will- it, like, I don't think Nightmare would seem to aggro. I think it was just like one of those things where I engaged it. Good job sleeping in that bed. Oh well, take care. Ryan's are wrapped around the bed. I mean, vines. There's a present over here that I didn't open. A homeward woody! Woody woody! Broken pots. I like these weird spinny lights they've got going on in this town. What's that? A woman on Dead Tree Hill. So that woman is the one who did that to Dark Hover Town? A brown haired, red eyed woman. Just judging from that, sounds a bit like the siblings there. Uh, sorry if that hurt your feelings. INSENSITIVE! Oh my, oh my, is it true? Pizza's returned? How wonderful. Yes, let's not move after all. Because, it's just a pain, you know? Alright! That monster is dead! You guys killed it for us? Thank you so much. I kind of panicked earlier. I'm regretting saying some things I didn't really mean. Drinking during the day, littering trash, dipping into my wife's secret savings. I'll probably still do it. Maybe. Father, and your merry band. So you killed the monster on Dead Tree Hill. <laughs> merry band. Oh, thank you very much. Now peace should return to Duck Harbor Town. Truly, I cannot thank you enough. Oh, yes. The sign of our gratitude. Take this, please. Received sleep guide! But with all said and done, just what was that monster, do you suppose? At any rate, I believe we'll cut down that ill fated tree tomorrow, so that such a thing as this will never happen again. Ah, oh, man, I forgot to talk to the other guy last time, too. Jeez, what a calamity. I'm just glad everyone is safe. I really wasn't sure what was gonna happen there. Good thing you were here, Russell. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Why were you in this town? A young, a young couple alone. D don't tell me. As a reminder, make a um, Dead Tree Hill was considered a a, a good spot for uh, for going to make out. Hey, don't make weird assumptions. We um. And this and that happened, and we were looking for you. For me? Why? Because I... Um... I I'm sorry! The goddess set you with the church. I messed up and broke it. Wh what? Wait! You mean, the one in front of the pipe organ? Yes, that one. I'm sorry. Oh, well then. All material things must break eventually, after all. Besides, the dedication you showed today, it was a just thing that brings no shame to the Lord. As such, I am sure you will be forgiven. You, you think? I hope so. I wouldn't say it if it weren't true. His, his, this weird, that neutral face is weird. Well then, let us return. It has gotten quite late. Good. Dogma forgave me. Thanks for today, Russell. You were a lot of help. Well? 
Well, if you need help with anything, you can call me, okay? I'll have to repay you somehow. Well, let's head home. It's probably already night over there. Cody Dogmon Helpers left the party! Ah, so you gave rest to the sculptures around town. Thank you. I heard their screams from here. They were crying, weren't they? So hot, they couldn't breathe. Flowers burn easily. Even flowers offered in mourning. On that night, they must have burned along with them. What's up with that? What's up with that guy? Alright, now we're back alone. But we have two new people we can take with us to the hot springs and to the movie theater. So we are definitely going to do both of those things. After we after we go and deal with this situation. Actually, I might do it right 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 before we before we leave because what if what if the movie changes and then i don't get to take i need to know everyone's opinion on um on blood ice cream it's very important we are in corners as the name implies our kind has the power blah 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 blah, blah. but you know, just like people we also feel tired and must sleep so keep that in mind Where even was Nightmare? Was he over here? Whoa! Tabasa! Hey, buddy! Checking out the grave? A grave. Oh, hey, Russell. What's up? Don't know why you'd be over here at this hour. Did you come to visit the grave? I feel kind of bad after you helped me make it and all. I'll bring some fruit next time. I could bring some more flowers, but they'll just wilt in no time. You're a good- you're a good egg, Tabasa. Sorry I winged you on the head. I get the feeling that this guy, that he only shows up. See, he just randomly walks back and forth. He doesn't actually, like, come at you. He's just kind of randomly moving. That if we didn't have our guilt level as high as we do currently, um, we wouldn't see him at all. Oh shit, there's more of them! Ah, hell! Hell's bells! I guess that's- I guess that's just something we're gonna have to deal with now! Alright. Let me, uh... Close for the night! God dang it! I guess we'll make use of this, uh, this root we've got here. Cause I am not in the mood to- to tingle with these fellows. Bye! That's better. What the hell is that? I didn't know. Get out of here, McAfee Security Scan Plus. I removed you. You installed and reinstalled Flash Player. I didn't want you here. Hang on a second. Get out of here. Don't come back. Oh, sorry. If, if it wasn't clear, I used a homeward Rudy there to get my to get home, so I didn't have to go around that thing. Oh my God, McAfee, what are you even doing here? No, stop. Go away. No, not right now. Not ever. Just go. I just want to talk to Cody. 
Russell, thanks for your help today. I really didn't expect it to be that big of an ordeal. Uh, oh yeah, I just remembered. That woman... D didn't she look like this goddess statue in the church? The, the one that I broke. And actually, that statue... Looks just like our mom. No wonder I had trouble fighting. Yeah, because the stat the, that because that the monster was the statue, and definitely not your mom. But that wasn't mom, because our mom passed away a long time ago. Right. No, I just... That what... <laughs> Mom, so it's okay. So maybe it wasn't Mom? If she died when they were still young, then she couldn't have buried... I mean, if she died years ago, then she couldn't have buried them. Hmm. Well, let's go see where Gardenian and stuff's up to, but first, let's check on this fella. Oh, she's outside! Hey! Oh. Why, what are you doing up so late? Children should be in bed by now. The early bird gets the room. Gets the room. Gets the worm. Indeed, I shall be hitting the hay myself. I shall soon be hitting the hay myself. So, what do you seek? Going to look at medicine? Let us chat. So, today... Ah, uh, Dark Cover Town? Well, anything noteworthy. My, my, what calamity. Was anyone hurt? Well, I'm glad if you're alright. Don't be too overzealous. If you were to suffer an injury and cease visiting me anymore, I would get lonely, you know. What did we do to you? Welcome, young one. You must be fatigued from such a late outing. Ah, that's right. Have you been to a place called Dragon's Peak? <laughs> Indeed, tis a secluded place, and ones like me are not easily found. However, Count Hera seems to be rather fond of you. He may take you there soon, even if it means dragging you. Yeah, adventure! Gardenia! Hey, hey, Russell! Good evening! You've been going pretty late today. Oh, and me? I'm glad you asked. You see, tomorrow is when Daddy's supposed to come back from his trip. I'm too excited to sleep. I want to meet him first thing in the morning, so I'm waiting out here. <laughs> Dad, can't you get here any sooner? Aw, oh, man. Gardenia, we're going to mess you up tomorrow. Can't wait. Oh, Russell, I, I was so worried about how late you were out. I had a very, for a brief moment, I was like, what if, what if Murray and, uh, and what's-his-face are, are supposed to be, like, stand-ins for, for Russell's parents, but then I'm like, no, no. Because I doubt even, in, I'll doubt even in a happy dream would, would they be, I mean, because even in that, even in the early stages of happy dream, it was still... My dad's terrible, so... Is that right? I... I do like that place. This town doesn't have a florist or anything, you see. Despite what you may think, the master rather likes flowers. So I go there to buy them, for his sake. Ah, oh, it's you. Just where... Just where are you so late? Ah, oh, in Darkover Town. Well... Does that place not have a unique feel to it? That said, I can't condone wandering around this late. There are many dangers at night. Whatever! You're not the boss of me, old man! I do what I want! Russell, out! woo Oh! Goodness! That... 
Hmm. That's new. Hmm. Hmm. We'll come back to that in just a second. Hey, pal! Hmm? What are you doing up this late? It's dangerous at night, Russell. You should get home soon. Ah, uh, I wonder if you've encountered a nightmare yet. Would you like me to tell, tell you exactly what that is? I kind of already know, but please tell me anyway. A nightmare is a monster that lives in your dream, pitch black and covered in eyes. It wanders only at night. Ah! Though they may go away, they can never fully be erased. So it's futile to fight them. If you encounter one, just run. Of course, if you want to fight, I won't stop you or anything. But nightmares are powerful. I doubt you will win. Let's go check on Police Cowboy. Hmm? Ah, just you. What are you doing up at this hour? Ain't safe to play in the dark. Went to Dark Cover Town, did ya? Don't care for the place myself. Gloomy as all get out. Yeah. The ways I go, uh, the way I go's gotta have some sunlight. You get all moldy in the dark. Matter of fact, town like Seaside's just the ticket. What I was trying to figure out was that if, if indeed they were burned inside the church, were they... Unless we didn't kill them, we killed them. No, that wouldn't... No, no, no. I mean, I guess it's possible that, co that, that he lived in the, in the church. How heartbreaking. Lord, forgive me. What? What? I honestly can't sense you coming. It seems my foolish sister caused you quite some trouble over this statue. You help me as well. If you're ever short of hands, give me a call. I will assist. That's all he says, huh? Not gonna talk about how 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 that looked like your mom, huh? All right. Have fun repressing your memories. I'll see you in a bit whenever I have you know night terrors about whatever I did to you guys, as I inevitably will. Now we could, if we wanted to, um, we're, yeah, actually I'm going to do that. I'm going to go, we're going to go to the cook point right now. What the shit? This is not cloak point. Um... Uh... Um, I think, I think I kill other people because there's too much I don't know. I want to try valuing someone, to try and understand someone, to try and love someone. I don't think this is where I was supposed to end up. Um... You know, I'd never actually used this feature before, 
So, I, I don't know, but I, I don't think this was supposed to happen. Since the rehab program began, I've slowly come to understand a little bit about guilt. But learning regret at this point won't save anyone. In the world of books and games, even if you kill someone, no one says anything. Because that's just how it is. If I could have a long dream, I'd want to visit that kind of world. I can't save you. Can I talk to this one or will it fight me? Are we on trial? It looks like there's like a like a jury. They said that the rehabilitation program was still in testing stages, that they could only test it on someone sentenced to death like me. Even I don't know how many days are left until my execution, when really, it could be any time. I don't care about any of it. Your guilt level is 10. Dang, it's gone up considerably! Finally, a little regret. Your guilt level is 10. Weren't we at like 4 earlier? Like whenever we, whenever we ran into the uh, the one in the kelp room? Maybe talking to these guys has made us feel more guilty. Alright, before we go to the one marked Russell, let's see what's going on over here. What does it feel like to care for your family? I'm sure it must be a warm kind of feeling. Russell. Thank you for being born as my sister's child and being brought up to be such human garbage. Thank you so much. Because you've become a test subject in this rehabilitation experiment, your aunt is receiving a lot of money from the government. I thought you were a worthless child, but because you kept killing people, now we're very happy. You may be slated for death, but until then, good luck. And take those injections. Well, bye-bye. Oh, this is like a... Like a, uh, visiting room. Like a visiting chamber sort of thing. Aw, oh, hell, Russell. This room's a mess. An old television. I think it was playing an old black and white movie. I think there was an old black and white movie playing then. There's nothing on it now. There are beer bottles and crumpled newspapers strewn across the table. Then, huh? A filthy sofa. I had drunk dad off and slept here with the TV on. Broken beer bottle. Someone's hat. Oh, jeez, Russell. There was always some unfamiliar man sleeping in Mom's bed. It was always a different one. Come to think of it, what happened to the man then? Did he run away? Without any clothes? A bunch of bills are haphazardly posted up, as if they're not important. A big refrigerator. There isn't much inside. It's a naturally dark outside. Can't see anything. Dad was drunk. 
mom was streaking with a stranger or sleeping with a stranger, so the last part was easy. After killing dad and mom, I didn't know what to do, so I went to the police. In the diary I'd been writing, I took it with me, figuring it would serve as evidence. So he did kill his parents. I mean, we kind of, I kind of, we kind of all assumed that, but confirmed. It's kind of weird he just turned himself in. Russell, this is you. You may avert your eyes. You may return to the dream world. Yeah, this is not where I asked to go at all, you piece of shit. I just wanted to go to Cloak Point. Why did you do this to me? If you wish to go to you, you may. No, I didn't ask. I just wanted to go to Cloak Point. Thank you! So anyway... So this is that kind of I've been hearing all about. Mm -hmm. it smells like danger, but it's so alluring. Just once. Just once should be fine. And everyone's doing it, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit's okay, yeah. All the kids are doing it. Since you're still a minor, I'll give you a first-time discount. Well, what'll it be? Yeah, you're a human, ain't you? What do you want at clock point? I'll warn you since I'm friendly, this town's dangerous at night. You gotta beat it. Everyone's got night dialogue! You got business with me, kid? Don't stare if you don't, yeah? H humans. Humans? Who do you think you are? Won't let you go? Won't let you go! Oh no! I don't want to fight you! Please! Eh? You're wrong, yeah? Don't show your face here again! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! A beaten and bloody young caddy. Oh, no! Oh, no! This is terrible! It's a guilt trip, like a field trip, but with your subconscious. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm done for. Or maybe I'm already done. It's cold. Mommy. Huh? I wish you would just give those pills to these poor sick cats. Drug cats. I'm really upset. Drug cats. Take that, Mia. That's what happens when you make eyes at my girl. She's going to only use theater with me, not you. Know your place, Mia. Hey, this isn't good. He's not moving at all. Shouldn't we run? I don't want to be arrested. Deep Sea Aria. Okay, apparently we the movie has changed. Um, but we are going to watch it with everyone. Take everybody. Group of two, go right in, Mia. <sighs> Nobody here watching with us right now. Whoa, just it's starting. Let's hurry, Russell. There's seats in the front. I kind of, I'm kind of upset. There's no, no one, no one here to watch it with. We'll have to come back during the day and see if there's more audience members. Hey, come over here! It's a really great place! Look at these little mermaids. It sure is! I never knew this place existed. Maybe I'll bring my boyfriend, too? Boyfriend? You mean the one who was, the one who was confessed to by Octolina? Yeah, him! 
He's simply exquisite. I mean, he's a jellyfish, not a squid. But that see-through body is really... Eh? What? This? What do I do? I can't get loose. Help me. Help. Seems like it's a disaster movie about a giant deep-sea creature causing the destruction of a mermaid village. Ultimately, it's never revealed... It never revealed the identity of the deep sea creature. I guess that's a pretty typical ending. It was really fun, Russell! I love movies that put you on the edge of your seat like that! Except, it never really showed what the creature looked like. I wanted to see that, too. Right, right? Personally, I think it was a giant octopus or squid, since that's what the arms look like. You could swallow mermaids whole, so if you cooked it, it'd probably feed a hundred people. Wow! Carpaccio, if it's an octopus. Pasta, if it's a squid. Oops, I'm seriously thinking about it. I'm hungry. You're so cute, Rodinia. I love you. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I pushed you down a flight of stairs. Hmm, maybe. Like saying, the rest is up to your own imagination? Feels kind of irresponsible. But if some people like that, I guess I can't say anything. Up next, Tabasa. Oh wait, I think I have dismissed all my helpers. I can't have... yeah. I hope you guys mind that I'm doing this instead of the plot. It just, it just, it's just, it feels very important and I need to. Whoa, looks like it's just starting. Let's hurry and sit down. Yeah, definitely had a B movie a B movie disaster movie feel. I liked it well enough, but with movies like this that have a lot to fun at, it's really best to have popcorn to munch on. Personally, I'm a salted popcorn guy. I love this is such a goofy. Oh my gosh! I love I love that we're I love that we get like discussion about the movie and then things like, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? What flavor of popcorn do you like? Salted is- that's my jam. Yeah, you get me. To me, popcorn means salt, and salt means popcorn. Oh, actually, butter is tasty too. I guess I want a lot of types. Butter and salt, Tabasa. That's what's up. I love- I love these- I love these chill- I, Oh man, I can't wait to take- I can't wait to take, um, to take dogma here. Huh, alright. I guess that's tasty in a way. Most of all, it smells great. Like, just smelling it is kind of satisfying enough, really. Next up, Cody. I'm saving Dogma for last. Hi, Don!
It's about to start. Hurry, get to the seats. Lots of, lots of poke fun at it, that. I guess it's what they call a B-movie. Nobody seemed very into it. Cody, we're the only ones here! Besides, you're showing it at night. You'd think, like, a movie you could watch with a lover or something? Oh my gosh, does that mean this movie really does only show at night? Oh man. A movie, uh, a movie with nasty stuff? Are you serious? I didn't say anything like that! You're such an idiot! I, I was talking about, like, a romance movie, you know? I wouldn't watch it's an awful thing. Yeah, yeah, like that. A couple watching a romance movie together at night. Wonderful, right? Uh, er, not like I hated watching this movie with you. I'm honestly pretty happy you invited me to this. You can go with me anytime, okay? Her, her, latent, her latent soon. Bubbling to the surface just a tiny bit there. And last but not least, Come on, buddy. Hmm. Seems it's starting time. Let's sit down quietly so it's not bother the others. There are no others! We're the only ones here! Hmm, a very intriguing film. A good portrayal of the human psyche in times of crisis. Such a thing really existed. I fear I wouldn't remain calm. I can't stand squids or octopuses. But they're so tasty! Yes, so I've heard. But I can't change what I dislike. It goes against my instincts. Those uncanny forms... If a demon were given flesh, no doubt it would resemble that. Hey, you know what? Hey, speaking of witch dogma, you know what my nightmares look like? They're like weird gangly things full of like sucker-like arms. I mean like eyeballs. Yeah. I mean... I don't like them either. So you understand me. It may be a god-given life, yet it goes past the realm of my understanding. On the other hand, some would be unable to live without squids or octopuses, so I can't be too cruel. At any rate, I would personally prefer to live with minimal interaction with such things, if I could. This was a good adventure, I'm glad. Thanks, thank you, thank you, have a good night. I mean, I do kind of want to talk to everyone else in town. Because there are still people in town left to... Oh no! Oh no, you're killing me with this! This is killing me! Are they going to be gone tomorrow? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really on the set. Oh, it's so cold. Dark and scary. Warm and sleepy. Cold, so cold. I was climbing up the ladder. Come back, friend. Tapo 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 t
Sheesh. These guys went way overboard. This is why I worry about novices. Straight to the incinerator for them. That's much we can do. You reap what you sow. Yeah, you know, did you kill this guy? He he's okay, right? Just sleeping, right? Talk to me, yeah. <laughs> what a moron, yeah. We ain't gonna give this stuff to somebody without cash. Used to pay so well too. Well, you were a lot good money too while you lasted. Good work. Oh my God, drug cats! Drug Cat Town is really sad. Oh shit! Is this a freaking rave? Did I walk into a cat rave? Hmm, what's with you? Why is a human here? Sorry, but we're in the middle of a fever party. If you don't want to get hurt, how about you move it? Won't let me go in there. Why can't you buy all the way guys? Hey, get a grip, Mia! Who the hell gets sauced off that little? That's no good, Mia. I gotta take responsibility and carry it to the incinerator. I mean, like, this is fascinating. Like, I, I'm liking this story, this world building, but it's also really horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Anytime is fine, right? Anytime is fine. So enough already, right? Die, die, die! A flickering eye hurting light. Come on, buddy, you're blocking the way out. <laughs> Another successful catnip fever party. Look, it's my dream to get mon to get money out of these guys until I can live in a mansion like with them. Oh, with like, look, it's my dream to get money out of these guys until I can live in a mansion with like a hundred toilets. Drop it, meow. <laughs> this is quality catnip here. I'd buy it for any price. Sucks to be you, human. You'll never get to experience something this good. <laughs> Fever party sounds like the sick party's anti vaxxers for to naturally expose their children to germs. <laughs> but with more cocaine. Yeah, okay. The music that plays inside the house is just like a sped up version of the tune here. Sorry to bother, boy, but do you have a flower called the Amabasho? Well, well, you know your stuff, don't you? So, just a question. You don't happen to be in position of our Amabasho? Nah. Yeah, I have one, I'm lying. What? Yeah, no dice. It's not good to lie. Maybe you be- well, may you be punished! I'm just kidding, man. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Things aren't that easy, are they? But if you do my chance have to obtain an ambassador, please, remember my face. Please. Alright, I'm depressed now. I need out. I need out of Drug Cat Town. How do I get out of here? Where's my ticket out of Drug Cat Town? How did I even get into Drug Cat Town? Like I used a portal, but is there not a portal back? Do I have to walk back? Screw that noise. I should have another Rudy. Laters! Well, that was fun. 
And we can go to the bathhouse at any time. Because we own it. So, uh, I guess we'll just, uh, now that we've, now that we've checked in on everybody, so how's everybody's doing, I guess we'll, uh, wait, hang on. Dang. Kind of a chill running down my spine. Should I go inside? Yeah. Yeah. Drug Cat Town is merely a gateway. A gateway drug cat town. Mmm, well, mouse, my old friend. A piece of paper with the drawing of a church. Read it. Yeah! There was a small church at the edge of the town. It was a pretty church with pure white walls and lively vines wrapped around it. I often went there to pray. I always saw the slightly stuffy priest and his apparent little sister chatting. Those people wore crosses around their necks. Did those people despise anyone? Would they be forgiven no matter what they did? If repenting can forgive anything, then... Late at night, I went to the church, poured a lot of gasoline around it, quietly set fire to it, and went home. No one saw. The cover of night protected me. God, please listen. Two of your faithful followers have departed to your side. I haven't been checking this every day, so... This world is lots of fun. Everyone's kind. I can see my favorite sight, and I don't have to see bad things. But lately, I feel like something's caught in my head, putting a haze over things. I feel bad for not, like, I wonder what happened the other two days when I didn't read these. Even when, every time there's a fun thing, I, I feel a bit of oppressiveness. Is it okay for me to be this happy? Because, in reality, everyone's already, it got a little hard to breathe again. Why is that? Can it be tomorrow soon? If I just meet them all and talk a little, I'm sure I can be feeling fine again. Russell! Aw, oh, there's some matches, boy! Oh. I guess there's no getting out of this. Whoa. Hey there. Your guilt level is 10. I guess we just loop it. We just loop eventually, huh? Guess I know what I must do. You must burn the church. Potential, potential, like, body horror warning, because her face is probably going to be kind of jacked if we actually see a portrait here. Ha 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 ha, brother, help me, help me! Oh god, oh god, oh god, where are you? Will I die alone like this? I don't want that. Help me. Brother. Brother. A magnificent pipe organ, but it'll just burn anyway. The shattered goddess statue was crying. It actually made... Spooky. Oh, why? I can't see. Where's Cody? Cody, where are you? Where are you? I need to hurry with the fires. I bear you who were burnt up. Alone, I pray to God. I make graves. I will continue to hate you. 
There is no God. There is no repentance. I will continue to hate you. I will continue to hate you. Good morning, Deranged Maniac! How was day three of your happy dream? Now, being the idiot you are, you may have forgotten this. But there is a fact and objective to this taking injections and dreaming cycle. Surely you've seen them. In your deep mental world of dreams, there are fragments of the sins you've committed and monsters stricken with sadness. Indeed, the goal of this experiment is to teach you, this miserable, this miserable excuse of a person, guilt and regret, so as to rehabilitate you. Do you understand? As such, please suffer greatly, writhe in agony, and feel regret. And in so doing, succeed in the Happy Dream Rehabilitation Program. That's all for now. So, let's happy dream! That's jacked. That's jacked up, yo. Alright, I gotta go call my folks. But let's get back to what we need to get back to the next day so that I can save again. And then, um. Don't let me forget, we will have to deal with. Take, we have to take Ardenia back to the Cake Town. I, I'm under strict orders to do so. I also want to make sure to check out the grave and possibly take uh, the kids back to Dead Tree Hill. The twins back. No, I say twins. The siblings back to Dead Tree Hill. I want to make everyone relive all of their pain all the time. Oh, hey! We got some pretty flowers growing here now. Pretty flowers in our room. Beautiful. Yo, Russell Morning. You were out late last night. Did you get some good sleep? Don't ever do it, cause you're young. You're, you're still at, there's still the age where you need, you'll get taken in if you stay out too late. Besides, there's that weird monster that's been sighted lately. You should watch it. Aw, oh, man, that was sweet. Aw, oh, man, that was, that was good. I liked that. More of that. No weird animals out today. Hmm, not here either. Where could I have dropped it? Oh, it's you. Apologies. I was looking for something, so I didn't see you sneak up. What can I do for you? Do you need something? Just want to talk! Oh yes, young one. Are you aware already of that monster appearing in town as of late? You may have been chatting up a storm about it lately. I cannot help but feel uneasy. I can't be certain, but it can't be bested by our hand. That's the feeling I get. Is it now? The feeling you get, huh? Hmm. Hmm, it's you. Good morning. I can't offer much of mixed cleaning, but you can stay here if you wish. Incidentally, I wonder what the citizens of Darkover Town are up to now. Once I have time, perhaps I'll check on them. But I must finish cleaning first. I think that means, I think that you, uh, you, uh, you are definitely coming with me, and we're definitely going to see how they're doing. Due to yesterday's fatigue, I did a rather luckluster sweeping. They will have cut down the tree.
Oh, I'll show you when I get when I I'll show you uh I I have a save from right before we I'll show you we only saw it for a split second, but I'm gonna go call my folks. I will be back in just a minute.
My mom says, hey! Okay, I'm just looking. I'm going to check the couch. Oh, yeah. Love you too. Talk to you later. Bye bye. So, I don't know if you guys know this, um, but, or if you remember my dog, um, on the first, I came home from work and found, like, candy wrappers all over my couch, because I had left my cauldron of Halloween candy sitting on the table that's propped up against the back side of the couch. Um... And I was like, geez Louise, dog. So I cleaned those up and I moved the, moved the uh, candy out of the way. Um, I just walked back in there and um, found a whole bunch of different wrap additional wrappers. Which means that she has hidden a bunch of candy somewhere in this house. Possibly more than than even this badge. So I have I have to scour my house this weekend to try to figure out where she's put all of this. So that because my dog is now eating more of the Halloween candy I bought than I have, and then I and the trick or treaters combined. And I want you getting sick, you goo. Anyway, I guess we could call it an evening now, but I want to talk to everyone in town first. Sure is eyeballs. Hello there. Sorry, but I'm working. If you need me, make it quick. Did you need Marae, perhaps? As you can see, she's away. Sorry, you'll have to come back later. She really does do a wonderful job serving me. 
I almost feel undeserving. I do hope I'm not a burden on that young woman. Well, you could probably still find some discount candy. I mean, it's only the third. Well, the fourth, as of tomorrow. Howdy, Russell! Up early to greet everybody? You're pretty dedicated. Early to rise, good. But get home before it's laid out. Even this area ain't so safe lately. You handed out those flyers, so you should already know, but... Yeah, there's that monster, too. In four, Mashun! A caddy all the way over here? Hmm, yeah, the Encarner Market selection is nice, man. Wouldn't have an issue if it were closer. Up in Cloak Point, where us caddies live, we don't get much stuff. It's a real problem, yeah. Ah, welcome. I've been he hearing about you from Ray. Thank you. Er, is Ray doing his usual greedy business? He first inflates the prices, and if he refuses to buy runts, he'll sell it at the normal price. If you could get angry at him in my stead, that would be very helpful to me. Where is he? Ooh, we can just buy things from here, huh? Cool. This must be the non flammable scarf I got. So Russell comes back and talks to us. Oh man, you, you're not going to believe what weird shit I saw in that kid's dream today. Catapul- cat catapulism. Cat- Cat capitalism. Hey, a kelp! Hello, I'm kelp. Kelp of the race of kelpies. I've come all the way from seaside to the south. In the south, I'm a celebrity kelp. Sometimes I go out to do shopping like this. Yes, spending the whole day just drifting on the waves. That's what the common kelp do. Yes, it's humorous to me. Oh, this room looks happy. What a happy room. Ah, uh, I want to talk fluently. Stiltedness is inconvenient. From what I have heard, if you eat up what is called a shiitake, mush a shiitake mushroom, uh, shiitake mushroom, you can speak fluently. However, ever since I ate got food poisoning, I've been afraid to eat strange mushrooms. You understand. If only I knew, so if only someone who knew a lot of plants could verify their safety for me. Aw oh man, we're totally gonna get you a freaking mushroom. I smell a side quest! There's so much to do and see in this game. Oh right, I promised you guys I would show you the scene that only it flickered for a second. One sec. Here we go. All right, keep your peepers peeled. It's only gonna be very briefly whenever we enter. Whenever we enter the bosses, uh, the animal breeders shop. That.
Oh, Russell. Did you come to buy something? I'll make it cheaper, okay? Oh, yeah. So, did you know about the monster they're saying is around town lately? What's that? Yeah, sure, I can, I can, I can. So what do you think it is? I don't know, but it's creepy. Yumi's on guard, so I think we're probably okay, since she's super strong. I can take a screenshot of it. It's a, it's a, it's a static effect that shows over, um... Here, let me get my print screen finger ready. So, you first see it, you don't, you first see it without the gray. Um, sorry, hang on one second, let me get it so I can actually see where I'm pulling this in for you. But it quickly, it quickly, you know, you see it like normal and then it flickers to the gray, staticky screen. But that's a bloodied up, um, Tabasa there. Kind of like we saw him after the first day. Maybe worse, actually, I'm not sure. But, um, he's like that, it's like that for just a split second, and then back to normal. And the music kind of goes zzzz. Should we go to bed? I don't know. I want to keep exploring all the weird things in this game. Because there's so many. Do we have additional plot? Perhaps. I mean, all of them seem to have additional things that we can do by wandering around. Oh, Russell, boy! Today is when my dad said he back from this trip. I've been waiting since last night, but he's still not here. Why do you think? Maybe his flight is late? I'm gonna wait a little longer. Like the mayor said the other day, hey spades waste! Oh, sweetheart. You're about to have an unpleasant time. Dreams and researchers are people who study dream manipulation. They're very smart people, you see. Your dream is also being controlled by those people to an extent. It would surely be bad if you died. But, hmm. They still haven't come into the dream, have they? Maybe tomorrow or so. Woohoo! If you want to go to Slabberg house. That one's all warped and stuff. The others seem okay though.
Look at all those extra letters. Since we never really explored this before, I don't know if those have always been like that. Or not, you know? Oh, boy! Wow! Wow! What an exciting friend! What a, what a, what a good... What a good, exciting place we've got going on here. Oh, man. Gardenia, come check this out. You're going to love this place. Ah, oh, man. Gardenia, come here. You, t you, you, two you, you, you two come as well. Everybody, everybody, everybody's coming along. Come on. A card is stuck in a ruined cake. Your anger turns to flame. Light the extinguished candles. Happy birthday, Russell. Use the skill anger. Oh uh, yeah, we're freaking watering this. It would turn into a candle branch, of course. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That day, the candle of her life was snuffed out because of you. A palm grew and spit out a se a palm. A palm. Open presents. Seems a little stronger than the ones before. Why do you use all flame? There's only the one of them. Won't open, huh? Maybe we gotta light all the candles first. I wonder if I had to have Gardini in my party whenever I first showed up to in order to get the reaction. I hope not. Get level is ten. I'll refresh. <laughs> Nothing will open today. Happy birthday to happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear. So that that one does open now. That one was filled with blood before, wasn't it? Ooh. What is that? Oh, that's the mangled gardenia, isn't it? No safe taping for you guys! Oh, I wanted to get these two- I wanted to get the siblings' opinions.
Meat is such a significant sort of sound whenever they disappear. The presents she was given that day were all left unopened. Her father must have kept his memory of that day sealed in the present. He can't move forward anymore. Have some pity for your unblessedness. Happy birthday, Russell. Pity appeared. Rotten veggies, rotten fried veggies learned, and oops, all burnt learned. You don't get birthday wishes. You don't get birthday wishes. Suffer and die, Russell. Be crushed like her, like a cake, and die. Uh, I was gonna see if, it, if I could run from the fight, but I guess I can't. I guess we'll fight this again. Yeah, pity's kind of like the, uh, the unopened letter, right? Like a version of it, sort of. We made it- we made pity hesitant to fight! Get him all. An image of a large, the image of a large eye. There was a sound of something opening. There used to be two doors here, I mean two chests here. Obtained a black ribbon. Gardenia only. Strengthens dark attacks. Increases speed by 10. Oh yeah, we should learn the skills we got. Medium fire element damage to 1. Fry rotten veggies for medium damage to 1. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh boy. No! Hey, everybody. Unhappy birthday, Gardenia. Poor thing. Poor thing. Huh? What? Me? Me? M my birthday? My birthday? My... And happy birthday, Gardenia, and happy birthday, Russell. Blessed girl appears. Oh, no! Oh, shit! <laughs> it's my birthday! It's my... Confused. Can I unconfuse her? Ah, oh, man. Oh man, does this mean we get to fight everybody as a boss fight at some point? I hope so. Sophie! Where did you get that? Where are you, where are you hiding these? Oh. Alright, I really need to go to bed, but we have to, we have to get through this part. I should buy some more meat pies. Because they like give 20 MP to everybody. I kind of feel like Rosary probably won't work since she's a blessed girl and all, but I want to try it anyway. Birthday. Document took 88 damage. I wonder if Boss, Cody, and Dogma are fought together. I hope so.
you know, I gotta say, for being a blessed girl, she looks pretty good, you know, her, her, she doesn't look quite as, uh, bent over as I would expect. Too strong. Dogma, you're worthless. Damn, Gardenia. Or blessed one, rather. Even getting close. Fifty six damage, dang. Dad's frying pan obtained. Prayer sword. Prayer sword. Prayer sword. Gives me a really bad feeling. Let's go back to town. Y yeah, let's let's go back to town.
<laughs> Let's just not think about it and go go to town. I want to see if I can go to the safe spot now that the spirit of Marini has been. Nope, still can't. Okay. No hanging out with our new friends there. Well, that was fun. That was a fun adventure we all went on. Look at this! An even thicker Bible. Type 2. Ooh! Magic knives. Type 2 weapons for. Ooh! Look at all these cool things! Exciting! Sturdy coat. All right. With these purchases made, I suppose we should really go to bed. I'll have to get some better things for her in a bit. Dang. Damn, Russell! Whoa, what's up, penguin guy? Ah, gee, that darn monster, it's just so annoying! Because of that thing, Deep Sea Hotel, meant to be the highlight of Seaside, is never gonna get finished! Ah, uh, serious bummer! Read the mood, will ya? Hey, there she is! What a strange place to see you. Good day. I, I'm coming back from Seaside. I just bought some fresh fish. The master likes fish, most of all, he really likes white... I don't know how you say white fish men. I don't know how you say that. That's why I sometimes go to buy fish for him. It's fun to gaze at the sea too. Okay, that's whew, phew. Boy, howdy, Russell. Okay, thanks for joining me, guys. We will meet back again on Saturday when we continue dealing with this situation. This whole... Sorry, I started wandering back towards Drug Cat Town. I just... I'm just drawn there, you know? Anyway... Thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful evening.